Well, Paul and Jessica, it's been only two days since that shooting, and the family of Laura East is still reeling. We dug into the past of the man accused of killing her, and it's marked with violent behavior. I spoke with her aunt today, who tells me this tragedy, tragedy has changed them. She's a beautiful person. She was a hard worker, determined, uh, a great mother. She always put her kids first. That's how the aunt of Laura East described her, through tears. I spoke with Maxine Rose over the phone today. The whole family still in shock after Laura was shot and killed by her estranged husband. They tell me Laura was visiting her mother at the Norman Regional Healthplex when Daryl East showed up and demanded to talk to her. She was trying to move forward and, and, and get her life together here with her family, and he, he could not. He couldn't stand that. He came there with the intentions to murder her. That's why he had the gun on him. Her family says Laura had a temporary protective order against him. But when she went back to court to get a permanent one, the judge denied it, saying Daryl East was not an immediate threat. Court documents show he was charged just last month for threatening to kill Laura and violating the VPO. She leaves behind three children, her family now questioning if the tragedy could have been prevented. I know that was the last thought in her head before he shot her was, what's going to happen to my kids? I mean, it's just an unbearable, paralyzing pain that I don't feel like, I mean, I'll never be the same. And the family has set up some GoFundMe accounts to help raise money for Laura's children and also for her memorial service. We have those links set up for you on the KOCO mobile app.